Labdien! Cīnījumās dāmas, godātie kungi, absolventi, vecāki, draugi. Un jūs skatāties un domājat, kur tad vecāki un draugi? Tieši raidē. Ja gadījumā jūs vēl savējiem neesat aizsūtījuši saiti, kur jūs var redzēt, noteikti aizsūtiet www.rgsl.av. Es esmu Valdis Melderis un savā ziņā man šķiet, šis ir ļoti leģendārs pasākums. Kāpēc? Tāpēc, ka gadu simtiem notikuši pasākumi šogad daudz vieti ir atcelti. Tikai nebakalauri programmu izlaidums. Un mēs drīkstam šajā brīdī aplaudēt. Mēs sākam Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas bakalauru programmu izlaidumu ceremoniju. Tālāk ceremonija norisināsies angļu valodā, jo, kā jūs saprotat, visā pasaulē cilvēki seko līdz šim izlaidumam. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, family and friends. And if you wonder how friends and family could hear and see us, it's very possible. Please just send them the right um, place to go www.rgsl.lv But now, once you've done with it, please switch off the sound of your mobile phones. We have uh, professional photographers and uh, also the cameramen, and they will provide you with all the pictures you need later on. Then, please uh, do everything you can to avoid uh, excessive contacting amongst yourselves. I saw some people doing the handshakes. It's not necessary. From now on, just please wave, smile, look good, and celebrate. So this is a very historic moment, by the way. Why? Because a lot of ceremonies, which has happened for hundreds of years all around the world, even during the wars, have been cancelled. But not this one. So this is a time to celebrate with a round of applause. Thank you. First, I would like to read the words of congratulation from Rector of Riga Graduate School of Law, Dr. Pietro Sulov. Dear 2020 graduates, this is a very touching moment for me. As you are the first generation of RGSL graduates since I started in my capacity of rector, I'm glad and proud to say congratulations, you have made it. This is where to give that round of applause once again. And you have made it in a very challenging context, which is, I'm sure, none of us will forget. This is a very important day, not only for you, but for the entire RGSL family. An important day because you have worked hard for three years towards this moment. Three years full of learning opportunities, important experiences, obstacles, which you managed to overcome. The final rush was particularly challenging for you your families, and also for RGSL staff. We all have managed to face the recent challenges presided by pandemic, which has affected the entire world and adapt to new teaching and learning scenarios. My deep gratitude goes to 2020 graduates, you, who have showed tenacity, flexibility, and maturity also in the difficult hour. These skills will be very useful also in your future professional career. My thankfulness goes also to the RGSL staff who has worked hard to allow that this academic year could end smoothly. I guess this is a moment to applaud them. I am very sorry that I cannot be with you in person in this moment as flight connections between Brussels and Latvia have not yet been re-established. However, as you are part of my daily life, I am with you in this moment. Glad to celebrate your graduation. Best wishes and always ad maiora, which from Latin could be translated as towards greater things. Pietro Sullo, RGSL Rector. Un nelielas tulkojums tiem, kur runā latviešu valodā, no rektora personīgi, kur šobrīd nevarēja būt klāt, un viņa uzrunu. Dārgie 20 
2020. gada absolventi. Šis ir ļoti saviļņojuši brīdis arī man, jo jūs esat mans pirmais izlaidums. Esot Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas rektora amatā. Un es esmu lepnus teikt, es apsveicu jūs to paveicāt. Un jūs to izdarījāt ļoti izaicinošos apstākļos, kuras esmu droši neviens no jums neaizmirsīs. Jūs esat smagi strādājuši trīs gadus, lai sasniegtu šo brīdi. Trīs gadus, kas pilni ar mācību iespējām, būtiski pieredzi, šķēršļiem, kuras jūs spējāt pārvarēt. Un pēdējais bija īpaši izaicinoši jums, jūsu ģimenēm un arī Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas darbiniekiem. Mēs visi spējām adaptēties jauniem mācību un pasniegšanas scenāriem. Es esmu dziļi pateicīgs jums, 2020. gada absolventi, par izrādīto neatlaidību, elastību un briedumu šajā grūtajā laikā. Šīs īpašības jums noderēs arī turpmākajā profesionālajā karjerā. Man ļoti žēl, es nevaru personīgi būt ar jums šajā izlaidumā, jo lidojums starp Briseli un Rīgu vēl nav atsākušies, tomēr tā kā jūs esat daļa no manas dzīves. Es esmu ar jums šajā brīdī un priecājusi svinēt kopā ar jums. Vislabākie vēlējumi un vienmēr ad majora. Tiecieties uz lielākām lietām, jeb kā Rainis Saulēk teicis, lugā uguns un nakts mainies uz augšu. Pēdējais bija mans brīvs tulkojums. Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas rektors Pietro Sullo. Paldies. Thank you. I would say, let's enjoy the opportunity to clap in front of your friends and the mates and uh, the faculty and administration because a lot of people don't have this opportunity. So really enjoy that. All this next hour when you will see your classmates, roommates and mates just coming to the stage. And by the way, you also, please, once you're here, take your time. It's worth it. Oh no, turpinasim. Ar pāris uzrunām, un tad jau arī pasliegsim diplomus. Let's go on. Before we hand over those very, very important papers, I would like to ask a few people more to speak. Director of Riga Graduate School of Law, Ieva Rātsinaja. Please welcome. Thank you. That was a nice round of applause. It is really, really great to see you not in the screen, but in person. And welcome back to school. These three last few months have been uh, challenging for all of us. For all, for all of you, it was unwelcomed intrusion in your study process. For all of us here, it was hard work to maintain some kind of a normality. We may consider this time as uh, something of a new normal, or we may understand or perceive it as intrusion in our lives. Whatever and however we perceive it, it was an experience and we have learned something one way or another, all of us. And for that, I think it was a great experience. I hope we will never do it again, but uh, let's, uh, let's learn whatever is left out of it. It is a great pleasure for me to speak to you today, not only in my duty and capacity as a director of RGSL, but also because of one small private reason which I would like to address. Slightly more than two years ago when I joined RGSL, you were halfway through your year one. And although I learned a lot from my colleagues what RGSL is all about, it was you from whom I learned what does it mean to be a RGSL student? What does it mean to study here? What are your thoughts? What are your expectations and aspirations? And for that, I am very, very grateful to all of you. Uh, there were some good days and not so good days. There were days when I felt that the whole student association has moved to the room next to my office. Some of you heavily overused my open doors policy. Uh, I will not mention all kinds of things left in my office. And uh, I still have opinion about some of the topics of some of the undergrad moot courts. Uh, but it was part of your life, and this is part of what our JSL is all about. We are always here for you in your good days, and especially on your bad days. And we will be here for you in the days to come. We are definitely sad to let you go. We will definitely miss you. But most importantly, we are extremely proud of you for what you have achieved already and what you will achieve 
in the days to come. And I'm glad to think and I would like to hope that RGSL will stay as part of the driver behind whatever success you will have in your lives. Some of you will become successful lawyers, judges. Some of you, maybe after three years, will decide that you hate the legal professional but will become a world-renowned artist because of RGSL. Whatever you will decide to do with your lives, uh, we are glad that we will be part of your start in the new life. And, uh, well, you will be welcome back. We will stay here. We plan to stay here for quite a long time, so we always welcome you back. If it would be a normal, a usual graduation ceremony, I would say that the day is not over and that I would expect all of you to be here in the party afterwards. Today is not the day. Uh, we will not have a very much of the party. But in my capacity as a director, restrictions, government restrictions permitting, I can promise you that we will have a really nice Christmas homecoming party where we will celebrate once again your achievements this year. Again, restrictions permitting, but the promise stays there. In the meantime, as well, this is always saying, this day is yours. So clap for your classmates, roommates, and household mates. <laughs> and all your friends you've made here. Enjoy the moment yourself, and uh, we wait you all back. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. Thank you. <laughs> and a Bachelor of Programs Director of Riga Graduate School of Law, Dr. Laura Ratnese. Dear graduates, Congratulations on having done an excellent job. I'm of course very happy for you and I'm very proud of your achievements. I was thinking for quite a long time what to say in this graduation speech. I feel like I'm not old enough yet to give you some fundamental life lessons. Therefore, I decided to use this speech as sort of my last chance to talk to you about law. No worries. <laughs> Yeah, no worries indeed, this is not going to be a lecture. I've been given only five minutes to talk to you. But more precisely, I would like to mention three legal principles that can be interpreted and applied in your daily lives that can help you to overcome all the challenges, issues, problems that lives present us. In the past two years here at RGSL, when I was sitting up there on the fifth floor in my office, there were many, many times when I was trying to figure out what to do, how to solve situations, uh, what kind of decisions to make, and so on and so forth. And I realized that very often in those times, I turned to legal principles for solutions, for advice, for guidance, and also for inspiration. So I hope that those legal principles that I'm going to share with you from my own personal experience, that they might help you also in your lives, professional lives, and also maybe in your private matters. So let's start with the principle of good faith. You know what it means. You know that it can be interpreted quite broadly. And here my advice to you would be, whenever you have to do something, be it a work task or a private matter, remember that rights shall be exercised and duties performed in good faith. This is not just a requirement of Article 1 of Civil Law of Latvia. This is a fundamental principle indeed. I really believe that this principle can help you to make decisions, make choices in those times when you are in doubt. This principle can be as a lighthouse that helps you to find direction and guides you towards the right direction. As the second principle, I have chosen one of the most important principles of criminal law, and it is innocent until proven guilty. Don't judge people. Don't judge people. Um, we know that in these times when there is a lot of fake news, black PR campaigns, twisted facts, and so on and so forth going around, it is extremely important to have a critical mind and to not believe immediately to everything that is presented to you. Do not sentence people to your imagined prisons in your mind if you do not have evidence. 
I know that we tend to form our opinion based on the first impression, and that's all right. But here, again, based on my own personal experience, I would like to advise you to give people a chance to demonstrate themselves to you, and more importantly, give yourselves a chance to get to know a person, and only then make a final verdict about someone. Lastly, as the third principle, I would like to mention, of course, my favorite one, Pacta sunt servanda, or in other words, contracts have to be fulfilled. Keep your promises, keep your word, do whatever you have promised that you would do, uh, do what it takes to fulfill your promises. Of course, there will be times when things happen, circumstances change, and you cannot really deliver on what you have promised. But even then, don't just leave without saying anything. Try, try to work towards a solution. Talk to the other party, right? Maybe you can postpone your performance. Maybe you can agree on something else. Just don't leave without saying anything and without apologizing for not keeping your word. This is a very difficult principle to follow in practice, but I think it's certainly worth trying to follow it. And now, on a final note, um, yesterday when I was kind of preparing this speech, of course, uh, at the last moment in a typical student tradition, in many of my drafts, and the first sentence or the first, uh, the first phrase was, I have known you for two years. But then I kind of realized that it is not true. It's not two years, it's not even two full academic years. And then I tried desperately uh, to go through my email and my calendar to figure out when was the first time when we actually met in this kind of setting, you as a group and me. And then I found out, and if I can trust my calendar, then the first time when we met was February 5, 2019. It was 10.15 in the morning, Auditorium W42. And the reason for our meeting was to talk about year two research papers. I'm not sure if you remember. Well, maybe some of you do. And then I was thinking, OK, maybe I can remember some interesting facts or some funny stories from that meeting that I could share with you today. And the only thing that came into my mind was that you were not particularly happy about the fact that research papers now are individual tasks, not group works. But one thing for sure that I remember is my feeling about you, and it was positive. So I was positively looking forward to our cooperation. I was intrigued, I was curious, I wanted to get to know you better. And now, one year and, well, four and a half months later, I am proud and happy to report to you that the feeling has still stayed positive. It has been a true pleasure to teach you. It has been um, pleasure to work with you, and I consider myself fortunate that I had the chance to get to know you. Once again, congratulations and my best wishes to you in your future. Thank you. Thaddeus, thank you. Pavisam īsi mēģināšu iztulkot arī latviski to, ko mēs nupat noklausījāmies. Man uzreiz jābrīdina, ka mani tulkojami no juridiskas angļu valodas uz latviešu valodu ir kļuvuši leģendāri. Tāpēc es uzreiz gribu teikt, ka tas būs ļoti, ļoti aptuveni un literāri, ne juridiski. Um, kā teica um, skolas direktori Ieva Rācinājuma, divas svarīgākās lietas. Uh, daudz no jums ir bijuši ļoti, ļoti aktīvi izmantojot man akt, atvērto durvju politiku. Daudz, kas manā kabinetā vēl joprojām atrodas no tā, ko jūs tur esat atstājuši, un mēs to neminēsim vārdā, gal galā vecāk klausās. Otra lieta, ko es gribēju pateikt, mēs vienmēr būsim šeit. Un jā, mums šodien varbūt nebūs ballīte, bet ja to atļaus, ierobežojumi, ja tāda būs, mums noteikti būs ziemasvērta ballīte, uz ko jūs esat laipni lūkti atpakaļ. Ties gan uzreiz gribu piebilst, tas neatiecas uz jums, mīļie vecāki. Runājot par... Um, bakalauru programmas direktors Lauras Ratniecis teikt to. Tie ir trīs juridiski principi, ļoti aptuveni tulkojot. Viens no tiem – dariet visu labā ticībā. Un ko tas nozīmē? Tas nozīmē, ka dariet visu no sirds. Tiešām tā, lai pašiem prieks um, labā ticībā šis princips palīdz pieņemt lēmumus un saskaņā ar savu sirdsapziņu. Tad uh, no kriminālikuma Princips, ko mēs pazīstam kā nevainības prezumcija, neviens no vainīgas, kamēr nav pierādīts pretējais, 
Nenosodēt cilvēkus, kamēr jūs par viņiem neko nezināt. Dodēt viņiem iespēju parādīt sevi no labākās puses. Un trešais līgumi ir jāpilda. Lai cik sarežģīti, lai cik neizdevīgi tie nebūtu. Ja jūs nespējat to izdarīt, esat kaut ko apņēmušies, bet nevarat pildīt solīt to, runājiet ar otru pusi. Atlieciet, sarunājiet, runājiet, atvainojieties, bet runājiet. Un noslēgumā, kā doktora teica, Mans pirmais iespējas, ka es jūs redzēju un satiku, bija pozitīvs. Es tiešām priecājos jūs satikt un prātoju, kas no tā viss sanāks. Labā ziņa tāda, ka iespējas šobrīd ir saglabājies tikpat pozitīvs. Paldies! Kaut kā tā? Un nu, bakalauru diplomu. Let's go to your diplomas. Bachelor diplomas are issued by Riga Graduate School of Law Director Eva Ratinai and Bachelor Program Director Laura Radniece. So, I will ask you to come forward, one by one, or all together. Come on, Sanak, Pavienam. Pavienam. Yes, just to make sure you're safe. We'll do it one by one. And... Um, We will begin with law and business. Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas bakalauru diploma programmā tiesības un biznes. Ar atzinību saņem Rīga Graduate School of Law, Bachelor Diploma in Law and Business with merit is issued to Agne Čākure. And the picture, please. Yes, Laura? Yeah, the first one is the most complicated task. Come on. And this diploma with merit is issued to Lena Viole Karjalainen. She's not here, but she can hear us. And see. Thank you. Elena Kruse. And um, please, smile a little bit at least. Otherwise, it looks like some of you are in really disbelief that you made it. Paldies, Elīna. Thank you. Elizabeth Lasmane. And yes, please show your diploma so everyone can take pictures and you will remember it forever. And whenever someone will ask you, who the hell are you, you will show this diploma and people will just shut up. Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas bakalauru diploma programmā tiesības un biznesa saņem Rīga Graduate School of Law, bachelor diploma in law and business is issued to Daniel Arāja. Paldies, Daniela. Thank you. Anna Renate Barisa. And if you feel a little uncomfortable coming over to the stage over this uh, very hard pathway, now you can see how it is when you're making your first steps at your job. Paldies, Anna Renāte. Reitis Griškovs. And somehow it is much easier for gentlemen. I don't know why. Paldies.
Paldies, thank you. Māris Miglinieks. Paldies, Māri. Tereze Naglē. And when you see that um, graduates are still receiving some advice, so probably this is what was um, left untold before. Yes, please. Ingus Ramats. Yes, enjoy it. Take your time, take your stage, take your pose. Pade Singo. Andrei Sarksians. Thank you, Andrei. Thank you. <laughs> Betty Silingham. Mm -hmm. Paris Betty. <laughs> Don't give up. Kiti is Chupele. Padis Kiti. Thank you. Niklav Stilchiks. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Sabine Vaivodisha. <laughs> Congratulations once again, Sabine. Thank you, Padre Sabine. <laughs> Marina Valpitere. It was not a handshake. <laughs> but this, Marin. <laughs> Axel's Zingulis. Well, this Axel. Thank you. It was law and business. And now let me hear, is there any graduates from law and diplomacy? All right. Rīgas Juridiskās Augstskolas Bakalaura Diploma Programmā Tiesības un Diplomātiem ar atzinību saņem. Riga Graduate School of Law, Bachelor Diploma in Law and Diplomacy with Merit is issued to Gabriela Fomina.
There was a disclaimer, it's not a handshake. For this, thank you. Maybe just secure her. Uh, Edwards, Paus, Indars. Some of you just found out something new about your colleague. And I understand that sometimes it's hard to feel comfortable in these situations when everything is so different. You've been expecting something different, but that's how life goes. So welcome, my ladies and gentlemen, to that life. And now let's go on. Linda Ingeborga Kronberger. Well, this. Thank you. Calvis Loggins. Thank you. For this. Elena Paeglide. Paldies, thank you. Edgar Spoga. Paldies, Edgar. Ilze Elizabete Strasdam. For this, thank you. Janis Artur Svarinskis. Round of applause. <laughs> For this, thank you. Anna Elga Stipschinska. Thank you for this. Rīgas juridiskās augstskolas bakalaura diploma programmā tiesības un diplomātija saņem. Rīga Graduate School of Law bachelor diploma in law and diplomacy is issued to Edwards Apsītis. He's not here, but uh, he can see and hear you. Apsītis. Laura Barene. For this. 
Jana Beguna. Paldies, Jana. Paldies. Darija Beļčikova. Paldies, thank you. Katrīna Bindulē. Paldies. Iekaterīna Babriķskā. Paldies. Denis Čamovs. Paldies, Denis. Thank you. Aleksandrs Gesins. Paldies. Thank you. Eleonora Kursiša. Paldies, Eleonora. Rimma Levina. Paldies, Rīma. Thank you. Loreta Megne. Paldies. Evelīna Meldere. Viņa arī jūs dzirdz. She can hear you and see. Apsveicam. Congratulations. Marta Mitko. Paldies, Marta. Thank you. Marija Nudga. Paldies, Marija. Thank you. Yes! Like I said, Enjoy as hard as you can. This is the moment. And actually, quite a historic moment. Christiana Peterson. Paldies. 
Paldies, Kristiāna. Thank you. Dārta Purvlīce. Paldies, Dātam. Thank you. Katerina Rjabova. Yes, please just go on. She's not here, but she can see you. Oh, she can see us, but can hear you. Elizaveta Spivakova. Paldies, Elizabeta. Un Roberta Zariņa. Thank you. Paldies. Well, this is a round of applause from you to you. You did it! And now we have another very historic moment. This is the moment which will be seen on YouTube for years to come. People will share this moment, people will talk about it, they will comment, and... Um, this is the moment when you finally have a say. So I'd like to welcome Bachelor Program's representatives, Elizabeth Lassmanim and Edgar Spurga, to give a speech. Honorable members of RGSL, dear course mates, and dear guests watching this online in their sweatpants from the comfort of their home. This certainly is a unique time to be alive and to graduate from university. However, times exactly like these once again help to remember what are the true values in life. We, the class of 2020, are graduating not only with a highly important knowledge of legal philosophy or whatever Eric Salg was teaching us, <laughs> but also with two values ingrained. First, RGSL taught us the importance of community. As part of RGSL family, we know that the highest level of success can only be reached when working together. We have been supported by the lovely student desk ladies and the library ladies, answering even the most ridiculous questions. Thank you for helping us when we, as your three students, still don't really understand how to manage the physical book search in the library. We have been educated, not only to be book-wise, but to be street-wise. We would like to thank Carlos for teaching us what people will think when we go to a court where we don't have jurisdiction over, that we're plain stupid. <laughs> and. We have been lucky enough to cross path with other brilliant minds, such as our directors and rectors. And Valid. Um, thank you, Valid, for following us on Instagram. <laughs> but all jokes aside, this has been a wonderful opportunity to be in an environment where individuals are willing to go the extra, mind, extra mile to be thoughtful and help others. This sense of community and support we will certainly take with us further. And for that, we are grateful to RGSL. How can I follow that? Uh, whilst community and support have been and will be the bedrock of future endeavors and uh, people we see around us and people we have learned with, developed with, will be the people we, to whom we're going to talk to for the rest of our lives. 
the can-do attitude, which has been displayed by lecturers, by academic staff, by administration, and uh, by you, the students themselves, has really taught us that there's much, much more to life than uh, just plain academic success. And um, whilst we stand here as successful graduates of Riga Graduate School of Law, we are also a part of legal practices, international and also national institutions and cooperations of governmental institutions, all working towards a better future. So the possibilities which have been provided to us by such endeavors as student association, moot courts, underground moot courts, international projects, and um, etc. Even though we may not remember them comprehensively due to excellent banquets and, and uh, gatherings afterwards, we still have the professional capacity to work towards our goals. So we can see that whilst we have generated an increasingly considerable amount of uh, knowledge and uh, academic expertise, we have also developed as individuals, friends, academics, and professionals. And that is the important thing that we have developed the community around ourselves and we have developed ourselves as individuals. And as Andy Bernard once said in the legendary series, The Office, I wish there was a way to know when you're in the good old days before you have actually left them. So let these three years at RGSL serve us as a reminder that we are living in the good old days, aren't we? Pavisam īsi no absolventu uzrunas Elzbeta un Edgars. Parasti lielākā daļa absolventu uzrunas ir netulkojuma vecākiem. Jums vienkārši tas nav jāzina. Uzmanība, uzmanība. Fotomoments, fotomoments, fotomoments. Jā, un fotomoments. Un aplausi. Un tagad lūdzu to pašu šeit uz fōniņa lūdzu. Lūdzu, lūdzu uz fōniņa, uz fōniņa lūdzu. Jā, jā, droši, droši sanākam. Jā, 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 lūdzu, 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 lūdzu. Šeit, redz, ko šeit. Jā, jā, jā. Nu, jā, nu, vēsturīgs brīdis. Uh, uh, round of applause, please, because we have to fix this so people can see what is happening. Um, yes, graduates are saying thank you to the people they really found out were great. Thank you, paldies. Tātad pavisam īsti tulkojot, ko Elzbeta un Edgars teica, kā jau teica, lielākā daļa netulkojama, jo jūs tāpat nesapratīsiet šo lokālo humoru, jo to zini tikai un vienīgi viņi paši. Bet vispār, kā Elzbeta teica, mēs esam sapratuši, cik ļoti svarīgi ir cilvēki, kurš mēs varētu saukt par savējiem. Un turklāt katrs cilvēks, kuram vienmēr atrodas kaut kas atbalstam, ko pateikt, kaut kas, kāds padoms, ko dot. Un tad... Arī galu galā mēs gribam pateikt paldies par to, ka šeit mēs esam saņēmuši ne tikai grāmatu gudrības, bet arī gudrības par to, kā būs tur ārā. Un īpaši paldies galu galā arī visiem tiem, kuri mums piesakoja Instagramā. Par to aplausu, lūdzu. Ir tīpaši valīdams sveiciens. Un Edgars teica, mēs tikai mācīti, cik ļoti svarīgi ir attieksme, Es to varu, es to izdarīšu. Un um, galu galā ir ļoti daudz svarīga lieta, protams, dzīvē, ne tikai mūsu akadēmiskā zināšanas. Un tad sakot tā netulkojamā daļa par spīti, kurai šie absolventi šodien ir šeit, kā sekmīgi absolventi, kuriem tiešām ir ko nosvinēt. Paldies, absolventi. Thank you. Now... We would like to acknowledge those graduates who were actively involved in uh, the RGSL Student Association. That's why I'd like to ask Director Eva Ratsinai. The floor is yours once again. So I will be asking one by one 
those activists. So please welcome back to the stage. You have a little presence and of course a little picture. No handshakes. Yeah? All right, let's go. So, and remember, this is your last opportunity to really enjoy this celebration because this is my last list. Laura Barani. <laughs> Welcome back. Iana Begone. <laughs> Raitis Grishkovs. <laughs> Edwards Paus Indars. <laughs> Eleonor Kursisha. Maria Nutga. Just go on, come on. Last chance, enjoy it. Elin Paeglite. Edgar Spoga. Sabine Vaivodische. <laughs> Roberta Zarinja. <laughs> On Axel Zingulis. <laughs> and if you're not jealous, just give them a real round of applause. Thank you very much. A little more so they can smile heavily. <laughs> well, yes, thank you very much. It is almost over, but actually, it all just will begin. Well, the official part of the graduation ceremony is over. Once again, thank you all. So you will be welcomed to a small reception. Eva, you wanted to say something? No? Okay. There will be an opportunity, I would say unofficial opportunity too. But uh, you are now welcome to a small reception in the gallery. And also, please use the photo moments with all the people you really uh, love, or maybe also with the people you will never see again. So this is probably your last chance to it. And in the gallery, there is a photo exhibition of the class 2020. And those uh, pictures of yours can be taken after everyone have seen them. Of course, you can take them before everyone have seen them if you don't want them to see. So please remember the rules, social distancing, and use the hand sanitizing when needed, and enjoy your evening. One thing, today it was forecast that a storm will come. Actually that storm is brewing out there, but we have good news. If you have survived this one, and that last run Rector mentioned, you are ready for that storm. And please, don't miss, and don't mess the good storm. You've got ourselves and yourselves out there. You are the ones who can do it. Go. Thank you. And now, Let's go or go.
There is some water for you and a coffee and something, some snacks. And there, before you get some water, you can take pictures once they're not lined yet. Thank you. And have a great life. <laughs>